Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 1 Lesson 12 homework. So let's get started. Alright, so number one, choose a reasonable product for each expression. Explain your thinking in the spaces below using words, pictures, or numbers. Alright, so A, we have 2.1 times 3. So here we have some possible answers and we have to estimate like which one would be the most reasonable. Let's see, 2.1 is just a little over 2. So then if we do 2 times 3, that is 6. So then we know our answer must be around 6 or close, somewhat close to 6. So here we have 0.63. That is not at all close to 6. So that is probably not one of our answers, what our answer is going to be. And then here we have 6.3, maybe, because it's pretty close. Yeah, and then now we have 63 and 630. So out of these four numbers, 6.3 would be the closest. So this would be the most reasonable. I'm going to say, I looked for a number close to 6. All right, and B, we have 4.27 times 6. 4.27 is like kind of near 4. So we do 4 times 6, which is 24. So then we know our answer must be kind of close to 24. So 2,562 would definitely not be our answer. 256.2, no. 25.62, that could be it. So maybe we have 2.562. So 25.62 is the closest. So that's the most reasonable. Um, all right, and C, 7 times 6.053, 7 times 6, because 6 is pretty close to that number. And that gives us 42. So then we know our answer must be around 42. So here we have 4,237.1. So that is not really close, so that would probably not be it. 423.71, um, I don't think so. And now we have 42.371, that's really close. So I think that might be it. And now we just have 4.2371. So 42 um, is the answer. And then D, we have nine times 4.82. So nine times 4.2, we know that 4.82, if we round that number, it's kind of around five. But it's closer to five than it is to four, so we can do nine times 5 which is 45 but we know it won't be more than 45 because 4.2 is um rounded up to 5 so we're looking for a number close or somewhat close to 45. so first one we have 4.338 that is not close at all now we have 43.38 that are, that is actually pretty close so that might be it 433.8 that is not close and 4,338. So I think the second one, 43.38, would probably be the closest. So that would probably be the answer. All right, next page. Number two, Yi Ting weighs 8.3 kilograms. Her older brother is four times as heavy as Yi Ting. How much does her older brother weigh in kilograms? All right, so we know we can... Right, Y for eating, she weighs 8.3 kilograms. And since her brother is four times as heavy, then her brother is like four times of this. So we can do B for brother, then her brother, oh, that's a bit of, is 8.3 kilograms, but four times. So that's one, two, three, four. So this is how much her brother weighs. So we want to find out how much does he weigh in total. So what we can do, we do 8.3 times four. All right, so three times four is 12. And then eight times four is 32, but plus one is 35. So the answer is 300, wait, did I, I thought 4 is 32 plus 1 is 33, bro. So our answer is 332, and then we move our decimal point in, 
answer is 33.2, which means her older brother weighs 33.2 kilograms. All right, and number three, Tim is painting his storage shed. He buys four gallons of white paint and three gallons of blue paint. Each gallon of white paint costs $15.72, and each gallon of blue paint is $21.87. So how much will Tim spend on all the paint? So four gallons of white paint, and each gallon is $15.72. Let's see, four. What can you do? Four times fifteen point seven two. Oh wait. I wrote it's on the wrong side. Oops. Four. Alright, so let's start. Um Yeah, we actually did not have to write it like that. We could have like well, you know, zero, first of all, times all these digits would be zero, 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 zero. Next zero, we add a zero every time. But next zero would be zero, 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 zero. And then we add two zeros. Okay, so four times two is eight. Four times seven is 28. Four times five is 20, plus two is 22. And then two, and then four times one is four, plus two is six. So let's add it all together. Zero, zero, eight. Oh, I can't remember. Eight, 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 six. All right, now move the decimal point in. We have one, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four. So $62.88 is how much she spends on the uh, white paint. But now let's see the blue paint. So the blue paint, let's do on the right side, three gallons, and then each gallon is 20, wait, that's the nine, not three. Each, okay, $21.87 times three. All right, so first of all, these digits times zero is zero. So that'd be zero, 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 zero. And two zeros. All right, now we have two zeros. Why is there a gap there? I don't know. And then, you know, we should like move this closer. Like, I don't know why I'm... All right, so now we draw two zeros. All right, times three. Seven times three is 21. 8 times 3 is 24, but plus 2 is 26. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 is 5. And 2 times 3 is 6. Add that together. 0, 0, 1, 6, 5, 6. So we have 1, 2, 1, 2. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. $65.61. So now, how much did Tim spend it all? Well, 62.88 plus 65.61. And that equals 8 plus 1 is 9. 8 plus 6 is 14. Um, let's see. 2 plus 5 is 7. Plus 1 is 8. 6 plus 6 is 12. Now bring the decimal point, point down. So this is how much um, Tim spent. So right, Tim spent and draw an arrow. All right, and number four. Ribbon is sold at three yards for six dollars thirty-three cents. Jackie bought twenty-four yards of ribbon for a project. How much did she pay? So so every three yards you buy is six dollars thirty-three cents. So since she bought twenty-four. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. So then to find our answer, we do 8 times 6.33. So we can draw a tape diagram. Um, so 
So 6.33 times 8. So 6.33 eight times. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we want to find out how much is a total. So let's do eight times six point three three. So three point three three times eight. Three times eight is twenty-four. Three times eight is twenty-four plus two is twenty-six. And six times eight is forty-eight plus two is fifty. And move the decimal place two times. So our answer is fifty point six four. So then we write Jackie paid fifty dollars sixty-four cents. Okay. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps, and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you next time. Bye!